What's going on guys? Oh Jesus, this is gonna be a long ass video. So a lot of you guys like collection videos and that's what this is gonna be. I don't think that I've done a collection video. We're looking at at least three years. There's probably been four to be honest with you. And the great thing about doing this video right now is that at, the, at this moment, we're actually cleaning out the condo. We're doing our spring cleaning and <laughs> My cologne cabin, my fragrance cabin is out of control. It's just completely disastrous. It's very unorganized. So the great thing about doing this video now, part one tonight and part two tomorrow is that I'll be able to reorganize this cabinet and just get rid of some of the fragrances that I personally don't want. So this video will not be professional by any means. I'm not gonna add any names. If I forget the name of a fragrance, I will, okay? My God. I've been putting this video off for the longest time just because of the work, just the collection. I think I have close to 175 fragrances. These are all bottles, maybe a few travel sprays. There are no decants, there are no samples. If it's a decant, you're looking at at least 30 mLs. Nothing that's 10 mLs, all right? So I'm gonna start off with the expensive stuff, but I do have a lot of inexpensive fragrances because that's what I am, and that's what this channel pretty much is. It's just inexpensive fragrances for the most part, but let's get this started. Oh my God. Creed's Milsim Imperial, Atelier Bergamot Soleil, Creed's Green Irish Tweed, Wedding Gift from the Wife, Bond Number no. 9, Manhattan, Designer, Calvin Klein Amber Gold Euphoria, Atkinson's Mint and Tonic, Tiziana Terenzi Artusa, Arthusa, Ferragamo's Convivio, Ferragamo's Vendinia, Ferragamo's Terra Rosa, Ferragamo's White Mimosa, Cool Life NYC Le Cinquième Parfum, Aqua de Parma Arancia di Capri, Latest Acquisition Martin Margiela Replicas Under the Lemon Tree, Birthday Gift, Aqua de Parma Merto di Paneria, Olfactive Studio Still Life, Atkinson's Posh on the Green, Creed's Original Santel, Aqua de Parma Fico di Amalfi, Olfactive Studio Still Life in Rio, Atkinson's Skilly Neroli, Creed's Royal Waters, we're winding down to the last expensive thing, Ferragamo's La Comedia, Davidoff's Adventure, Ferragamo's Womo and Casual Life, two unboxed fragrances, Oscar De La Renta Poirier, Cartier's Roadster, Forgot One Niche, House of Matriarch, this is Chris's Amber Chris, Zegna Z Energy, The Infamous Ferragamo F Black, Baldessarini's Nautic Spirit, Lacoste L1212 O Fresh, don't know why I still got this one, Gucci Guilty Absolute, Tommy Bahama Set Sail St. Bart's, we're gonna get sexual right now, Michael Germain's Sexual Fresh Bottom, and this is Michael Germain's Sexual, Canali Men, and Enrique Iglesias Adrenaline, D&G, don't know how to spell this one, this one's definitely a hard French name, Mugler's Cologne, Phoenix Artisan Coutremans Boomtown Bay Rum, let's get into a couple clone houses, Dua Fragrances, Vanilla Lemon Gelato, Dua Fragrances, Hangover with the Mobster, Dua Fragrances Pomme Trempe, Dua Fragrances Dolce Vita, Alexandria's Signature, Alexandria's Crystal Peak, Alexandria's Ho Hawaii Volcano, Alexandria's Port. The next three houses are gonna be Dunhill, Azaro, and Tommy Hilfiger. I got these separate because I'm trying to do videos with specific people in the near future. So we're gonna go with Dunhill, Dunhill Desire Black, Dunhill Desire Ocean Blue, I believe, Dunhill Desire Silver, Dunhill Custom, and Dunhill Black, Dunhill N51.3, Dunhill Fresh, Dunhill Desire Blue, Dunhill Pure, one of the best ones from the house, Dunhill Eccentric, Dunhill Pursuit, and Dunhill London. Let's get into the Tommy Hill figures. Some of these haven't even been unboxed. Tommy Hill figure Summer, this one I did do a review. Tommy Hilfiger Jeans, Tommy Hilfiger Endless Blue, Tommy Hilfiger Bold, Tommy Hilfiger Neon Brights, Tommy Hilfiger Prep, Tommy Hilfiger Shooting Star or North Star, Tommy Hilfiger The Original, Tommy Hilfiger 1985 I believe, Tommy Hilfiger Freedom Sport, Tommy Hilfiger Tommy Tropics, and the last one, Tommy Hilfiger Freedom. I'm sweating right now, it's hot. Next house is Azado. Azado's Chrome Under the Pole, Azado's Chrome Summer, not even open. I don't even know the name of this one, but captions below. Azado Aqua Verde, Azado's Jet Lag. Wanted, Chrome Pure, the original Chrome, the original Chrome, Aqua Frost. This one is definitely hidden gem, hard to pronounce. Solarissimo Favi Nana. The rest of the video is pretty much mixed. 
Calvin Klein's CK ETU, not even opened. Prada Lum, Mercedes Benz Silver, Porsche Design 180. This is a really cheap one. Guess Night Cologne, the latest acquisition as well. This was a birthday gift today. Guerlain's Cologne Lum Ideal, Zippo Glorious. Forgot one niche. Silver Mountain Water Creed, Mercedes Benz Club Celebrity Set, Lions Empire Legacy. This is from the show Empire. Dolce & Gabbana Le Fou 21. Eau de Capsi Vetiver Bleu. This one's a banger. Diesel's only in the brave. Hi. To hell with it, I'm gonna finish this video tonight if it doesn't kill me. My God, I'm on a roll right now. Got a lot of unbox fragrances coming up. Davidoff Cool Water Caribbean Summer Edition. Jaguar Classic Amber. Ferrari Red Power. Cheap ass bottle. Jaguar Classic Gold. Cheap as can be. Diesel's Only the Brave Tattoo. Diesel's Zero Plus Masculine. Carolina Herrera VIP Men Party Fever. Jaguar Classic Motion. Here come the Jaguars. Jaguar Classic Black. Jaguar Pace. Jaguar Excellence. Jaguar Performance. And I believe that this is the last Jaguar. Jaguar Classic Red. Diesel's Fuel for Life Extreme. She's in there. Zegna Z. Zegna Z Shanghai. Trostari Womo Fresh. Robert Graham's Courage. Perry Ellis Aqua Blue. Not sure. Ferrari's Radiant Bergamot. Vince Camuto Eterno. Chanel's Allure Homme Sport. Kenneth Cole RSVP. Zippo's Dress Code Black. Burberry's Sport. She's in there. The new Hugo Boss Hugo Reverse. Guess Dare for him. Perry Ellis Cobalt. Calvin Klein Eternity Now. Some kind of Tommy Bahama. Name is right here. Isi Miyake Lodice Blue. Ferrari's Cedar Essence. Carolina Herrera Summer. I'm not sure which one. Banana Republic Neroli Woods. Kenneth Cole Reaction Connected. Zippo Break Zone. Ferrari's Red Power Ice 3. Ferrari's Pure Lavender. Balda Serenis Strictly Private. Oh, Jesus, my voice is getting annoying. Ferrari's Vetiver Essence. Ferrari's Essence Musk. The original Jean Paul Gaultier Monsieur. This was a gift. Never smelt it. Don't know what it is. DKNY Men. The only decant, I believe, in this video. Zenya's Essenza di Zenya for men. Discontinued. Hard to get. Vince Camuto Um. Bulgarian Man in Black. Zenya's Aqua di Bergamanto. Ferrari Scuderia Racing Red. The original Yves Saint Laurent La Nuit de l'Homme. Canali Summer Night. Canali Black Diamond. CK1 Shock. Bulgarian Man Wood Essence. Ferrari Scuderia Scuderia Club. Hugo Boss Pure. Ferrari Scuderia Light Essence Bright. Guess Man. Vince Camuto Terra. Calvin Klein Truth. Kenneth Cole Black Bold. Diesel's Only the Brave Iron Man. Not sure. Limited Edition. Tommy Bahama, very cool. Nautical Voyage. Imer Najedno Zegna Sicilian Mandarin. Zippo's Mythos. Guess. Next one, sexy, sexy woman. Rihanna. Rihanna, Rogue Man. Sean John, I Am King. Kenneth Cole, Mankind Hero. Eau de Cartier, Zest de Soleil. The Art of Shaving, Coriander and Cardamom. Carolina Herrera, CH Men, Central Park. Diesel's Fuel for Life, Spirit. Zegna's Forte. Guess, 1981. Gucci Made to Measure, Trastari Womo the Red, Coach for Men, Bugatti Pure Black, Perry Ellis, not sure which one, Zegna Z Milan, Ferrari Scuderia Forte, Prada Luna Rosa Extreme, Ferrari Scuderia Light Essence, Zedig and Voltaire, this is him, Lacoste Pour Homme. The finish line is almost there, thank God. Ferragamo's Womo Signature, Eau de Cartier Essence d'Orange, Jay Z Gold, Yop Om Wild, Ferrari's Noble Fig, Ferrari's Amber Essence, Ferrari's Radiant Bergamot, Ferrari's Bright Neroli, Ferrari's Leather Essence. Fossil 1954 for him, Lacoste L1212 Jaune, Hugo Boss Bottle, Zegna Z Fresh, Polo Black, this one's a mouthful, Zegna Essenza di Zegna Aqua a Summer, Aqua de State Summer Fragrance, Ferrari's Silver Essence, Givenchy Gentleman Only Absolute, Oscar de la Renta Pour Lui Fresh, Bath and Body Works Mahogany Woods, Trostari Rifleso, Guerlain L'Homme Ideal, Perry Ellis Aqua Extreme, John Barbados The Original, Zegna's Intenso, Burberry's London, Kenzo's Low Par Kenzo, Robert Graham's Valor. We are winding down, we are winding down, we are winding down. It's a long ass video. Kenneth Cole Reaction Thermal, Burberry Summer 2013, Le Chanel, Givenchy Pie Neo, Kenneth Cole Him, Ferrari's Scuderia Forte Black Signature, the classic Ralph Lauren Polo Sport, Guess 1981 Indigo for Men, Carolina Herrera 212 VIP Black, Roberto Cavalli Womo, Guerlain Um. Oh, 
thank Jesus. We got one last fragrance. Oh, this is a long ass video. I'm sweating. I'm dehydrated. And here I thought that the video was gonna be done, but I ended up getting more fragrances since this was the last film. So what you've just seen was actually filmed a week before Easter weekend. So I was actually cleaning up the collection, organizing it, everything. And I said I wasn't gonna buy anymore, but I ended up getting a few more, which I bought, but a lot of these were also gifts. Okay, so the lighting's way better. I could redo the whole video, but it's just, it's so much work. So screw that, okay? So let's just get into it. This, this was a gift from my friend Rush, who you've seen in many videos. Guerlain L'Homme Ideal Cologne. This one I ended up getting off Mark's recommendation, but I ended up getting the wrong one, but I ended up getting the original that he said, but this is Guerlain Eau de Cologne Imperial. The original that he recommended, but this is the female one and it's unboxed. Guerlain Aqua Allegoria Pompelion. A birthday gift from the wife. Atkinson's Mint and Tonic. And this one here, I ended up doing a decant review, but I love this one. Creed's Asian Green Tea. Creed's Himalaya. And two anniversary gifts from the wife that haven't been unboxed yet. Atkinson's The Big Bad Cedar and Atkinson's The Excelsior Bouquet. The last one in this video is probably the most self-deprecating review I have ever done to date. It is from Michel Germain, and that is Sexual Sugar Daddy. Guys, we have come to the end. Thank God. This is probably gonna be the very last collection video I ever do. And I am quite aware that a lot of my stuff is cheap, inexpensive garbage for some of you people. But hey, I am a cheap, inexpensive whore. That's what I am. So guys, I truly do hope that you did like this video. This took a lot of work. I am looking forward to trimming down this collection drastically. A lot of my buys, and I'll be perfectly honest, and I don't condone it, are blind buys, just because I don't like to review what everybody else does. And I have stated that many times on camera. I do have a lot of fragrances from specific houses just because I like to do smell and rates of each and every house that I can. But I could probably use a few more niche bottles. However, before I do so, I will have to sell down quite a bit of the inexpensive stuff in order to do so because this collection is way out of hand. So guys, this video is finally done. If you made it to the end, I thank you. Which fragrance from this collection video do you like the most? There's a lot to choose from, I know, but please let me know down below. So guys, this is finally over. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, share the video, subscribe if you haven't, hit that notification bell. We thank you for your time, take care, and we'll see you later. Oh Jesus, thank God this video's done. God damn, I have a lot of crap! <laughs>